Welcome to the Morning Download Podcast, your go-to resource for personal finance, economics, and market insights. In just eight minutes a day, we provide valuable information to help you make better money decisions. I hope you're gearing up for today's market, even though things have been a bit sluggish lately. It's definitely been the norm for a while now. But hey, let's brace ourselves because it's possible that things might get a little worse before they start getting better. Let me share a fun fact with you today. Have you heard about the myth surrounding October in the stock market? It's quite interesting. People believe that October is the month when the stock market declines more than any other month. In fact, there's even a term for it called the October effect. You know what's really intriguing? The two major crashes in history, the Great Crash of 1929 and the Crash of 1987, both happened in October. But here's the thing. Experts actually believe it's just a myth. Yep, that's right. They think that October being a doom and gloom month for the stock market is just a coincidence and not something we should be too concerned about. So there you have it, folks. October might have its spooky reputation, but when it comes to the market, let's take it with a pinch of salt. And hey, keep an eye on things today. Who knows what surprises this October might bring our way. In the latest news on the economy, it seems like the auto industry is still facing troubles due to ongoing strikes. This has greatly affected production, and both General Motors and Stellantis have recently announced more layoffs, making the labor standoff even worse. However, there is a glimmer of hope as Stellantis has presented a new contract proposal to the union. Details about the offer are scarce, but it seems to mainly address non-economic issues. The big question now is whether this proposal will be enough to satisfy Union President Sean Fain. If Ford, GM, and Stellantis fail to take action, Fain plans to announce new strike targets soon. What could be the consequences of this strike? Well, we might see an increase in new and used car prices, and it could even lead to a shortage of car parts. Interestingly, Tesla could actually benefit from this situation. Their average salaries are currently around half of what the workers at the three legacy automakers earn, So if the strike is successful, the expenses of the big automakers will soar, while Tesla's will remain the same. Meanwhile, in global news, the Swiss National Bank has ended its hike streak. Russia has temporarily banned the export of petrol and diesel, and India and Canada are continuing to exchange hostile remarks. On a positive note, weekly jobless claims in the U.S. have dropped to an eight-month low. Now to stocks. The stock market took another tumble yesterday and it's got people talking. All the major indexes had a rough day, all because of concerns about a potential government shutdown. And get this, it was the third day in a row that these indexes saw losses. Talk about a slump. But wait, there's more. The S&P 500 had its worst session since March. Yikes, that's definitely not a good sign. And here's something else to add to the mix. The U.S. 10-year Treasury yield hit a high of 4.494%. Whoa, that's the highest it's been since 2007. And you know what's fueling this surge? Positive weekly jobless claims data. Seems like a mixed bag of good news and bad news, right? According to Adam Turnquist, the chief technical strategist at LPL Financial, these high yields are acting as a warning sign for the markets. It seems like they're putting a damper on people's appetite for taking risks. So it looks like the stock market is going through a bit of a roller coaster ride at the moment. Let's keep an eye on these developments and see what happens next. So let's dive into the world of cryptocurrencies and get you up to speed. First up, we have XRP, which is showing some promising signs. There's speculation that it may increase by a whopping 250%. Now that's an attention-grabbing figure, isn't it? Next, we have Vivek Ramaswamy, who seems to be making moves in the crypto world. He's working on drafting a crypto policy framework. It'll be interesting to see what kind of impact this framework could have on the industry as a whole. Ah, Bitcoin. It's had its fair share of ups and downs and recently it slipped again. Now this isn't entirely surprising as Bitcoin's value tends to fluctuate quite a bit. But hey, it's all part of the game. Lastly, we have an ex-employee who's pointing fingers at Sam Bankman Freyd's Alameda for Bitcoin's drop in 2021. It's always intriguing to see how different players in the crypto domain influence the market. So there you have it. A quick roundup of what's happening in the crypto world. Keep an eye on XRP's potential rise. Keep yourself informed about Vivek Ramaswamy's crypto policy framework. And stay tuned to Bitcoin's ever-changing journey. And remember, in the world of cryptocurrencies, anything can happen. Investing in real estate is a great way to build wealth and secure your financial future. 
Real estate offers several advantages that make it an attractive investment option. First and foremost, real estate has the potential for high returns. Historically, real estate has outperformed other asset classes like stocks and bonds over the long term. This is due to the fact that real estate is a tangible asset that is not subject to the same volatility as the stock market. When considering where to invest, it's important to choose states where prices are affordable and increasing. For example, New York may have a high appreciation rate, but the average house in the state costs over $700,000, making it less affordable for many investors. On the other hand, states like Texas, Maine, and Connecticut offer more affordable options with great growth potential. Another advantage of investing in real estate is the potential for cash flow. Rental properties can generate positive cash flow that can be used to offset mortgage costs, taxes, and other expenses. The average apartment rent in the U.S. is $1,702, which can provide a decent amount of monthly income, and if you have a well-maintained property in a desirable location, you can easily increase rental income. Real estate investors also benefit from various tax breaks. Some of the top write-offs and deductions include passive income and pass-through deductions, depreciation, capital gains, 1031 exchanges, self-employment slash FICA tax benefits, tax-deferred retirement accounts, and opportunities in designated opportunity zones. Furthermore, real estate values tend to appreciate over time, which can lead to significant profits when you decide to sell. Additionally, special mortgage rates for primary homeownership and government initiatives to increase homeownership rates create attractive incentives for real estate investors. Another advantage is that real estate can help diversify your investment portfolio, reducing risk. Real estate provides protection against inflation, making it a smart choice for long-term investment. Additionally, you can further diversify your real estate investments by engaging in real estate exchange-traded funds, ETFs. Like any investment, there are risks involved in real estate investing. One major risk is the high cost associated with purchasing real estate, especially single-family homes. The median price for an existing home was around $410,200 in June 2023, which can be a significant barrier for some investors. Real estate can also be illiquid, meaning it can be difficult to sell quickly, especially in a slow market. On average, it takes 30 to 90 days to sell a home, which may be problematic if you need liquidity. Additionally, owning rental properties comes with maintenance costs and the challenge of dealing with tenants. Regular maintenance and repairs can be costly, with homeowners spending an average of $1,400 to $2,300 per year on maintenance alone, not including unexpected repairs. There is also the risk of non-payment or property damage by tenants, and finding tenants can be a hurdle, as the country has a vacancy rate of over 10%. Despite these risks, Real estate investing can be incredibly rewarding if approached with careful research and management. By doing your due diligence and being proactive in managing your property, you have the potential to generate significant income and build long-term wealth. So consider real estate as a viable investment option to secure your financial future. Hey there, folks. I've got an interesting personal finance quote for you today. Jim Rogers once said, bottoms in the investment world don't end with four-year lows, they end with 10 or 15-year lows. Now let's break down what he means by this. When it comes to investing, we all know that the markets can be unpredictable. Sometimes we might see a drop in prices, commonly referred to as a bottom. Now what Jim Rogers is trying to emphasize here is that these bottoms don't just bounce back quickly after a few years. No, no. He's saying that the true bottoms, the ones we should really be paying attention to, can take up to 10 or 15 years to recover from. It's kind of like when you hit rock bottom in life. It takes time, effort, and patience to lift yourself back up and reach new heights. The same principle applies to investing. The market might hit a low point, but we shouldn't assume it'll bounce back in a jiffy. True recovery takes time. So, the next time you see a drop in the investment world, remember Jim Rogers' wise words. Be prepared for the long haul, and don't expect a quick fix. Keep your eyes on the bigger picture and make informed decisions that align with your long-term financial goals. And that's our personal finance quote of the day, folks. Stay tuned for more insightful nuggets of wisdom. In this week's episode, we covered a variety of topics, including the debunking of the October stock market decline myth, the ongoing auto workers strike, the drop in the stock market due to fears of a government shutdown, 
updates on the crypto market, the benefits and risks of investing in real estate, and Jim Rogers' insight on true market bottoms occurring after years of low performance, giving you a well-rounded look at the current financial landscape. Thanks for tuning in to The Morning Download, your go-to podcast for personal finance, economics, and market insights in just eight minutes a day. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content and sign up for our free newsletter at morningdownload.com slash subscribe.